Welcome back to the channel guys, this is Wolfspring Gaming and today we are in Minecraft, this is part 11 of the Let's Play if you haven't seen any of the Let's Play so far there's a link in the top right hand corner of this video to the playlist so please go check it out and last video me and Jack Attacks were mining for materials we're going to need to build this enchanting tower that we're building here in a 8x8 square so, I'm going to get that done now. These are the materials we are using. We are going to need more oak, more spruce, but those are still being, still growing over there. So what we're going to need first is a stack of each one of our main blocks, which in this occasion is polished deep slate, stone bricks, and polished all light. We are also going to need polished deep slate walls and stone brick walls we are also going to need polished deep slate stairs and stone brick stairs and that's just for now so first we are going to put a stone brick there and one there just like so leave a free block one two three place one there and one there then leave another three block one two three one there one there then one two three huh i think i did it wrong actually hang on i'm an idiot it's there and there and then one two three there and there and one two three huh still looks wrong hmm. so it is there and there then it is one two three one there and one there There we go, that's better. Ah, yes, and that's how it's supposed to be. Right, so this is the pattern we want, but I don't want it like that, to be honest. Hang on. And you'll see why. So we want one block there, one block there. One block there, one block there. Just like that. Then, we also want... One, two, three. We want one block there, one block there. I think. Uh. Looks too similar, but okay, whatever. It's one, two, three, one, and one. It looks about right, I guess. Mm. 
And this is why I wanted it like this. We are going to build up one, two, and three. And then get rid of that. And one, two, and three. And four. There we go. Like that. Then like that. Then one, two, and three of stone bricks. And um, that's stone brick walls, by the way. And another on the other side. And then one, two, and three. And again, right here, one, two, and three. And then we need stone brick. But to do this, we are going to also need some scaffolding. Oops. Uh, there. Or you could build up with dirt or whatnot. But better like this. Easier to get rid of. Just like that. Once you've done that, you want to do this and then do that. Now we're just going to repeat this shape on every single side. So. Let's deal with the walls first because the walls can literally be annoying, especially if we run out, which we didn't, which is pretty good. Now, oh wait, this is wrong, this is wrong, I knew something went wrong somewhere. We are actually going to need a shovel and some axes, so let's see, we don't need that yet. <laughs> Thank you. 
shovel is to fix what has been broken. Like that, there we go. And obviously axe is for wood. Just like that. Now that we've done it correctly, if we've done it correctly, you'll see middle gaps here. What you want to do is build up one higher than it usually is. So let's do that now. Just like that. Like that. And we might as well build up our scaffolding again. There we go. Now we want stone brick stairs. One, two, three. One, two, and three. One, two, and then another one there, one there, one there, and one there. But we ran out, so we just have to go get more. Which is easy peasy. Means we just need to craft it some. Oh, wrong one. But oh well. That's fine. Who knows, that might come in handy actually. go and now just like we did below build up the walls each post needs three which also means we need more stone bricks and eventually more stone For now, we have enough. Hopefully, whoops. There we go. Now we have more repeating sequence, however, different material. So, spruce, spruce. Also going to need stone brick stairs, one there and one there, and this repeats on every single side. Just like that. Closest you're gonna get to a let's build tutorial. I'm gonna record every single build I do, but 
this is probably going to be the first one that's going to be all in one video for you guys and then if you've done it correctly this is what your final outcome should look like this point in of the stage and now before we can actually do the next part we actually need to get ourselves some more stone bricks so let's do that I don't know we have any more stone which means we are going to need to go mining for it Hmm. That's actually kind of annoying. Oh wait, hang on. There we go, we've got 29. Unfortunately, we're going to need more than that. At least it's enough for now. So anyway, at this point, you just want to build one up and then cross. Build one up, cross, build one up, cross, and then just cross. There you go. That's what it should look like at this point in, in time. And now, this is the entrance, so it's upside down stair there, up down stair there, and then on this side, it's upside down stair there, and upside down stair right there. Uh, we need more stairs. Wee splat. Yeah, that's enough. We actually also need another piece of new material to build. We need logs at this point. And not planks. Just logs. one there, place another one there, and then one there, and one there. Now this is the upside down stair every, sing uh, every other one, so there, there, and there, and again, there, there, that's wrong. Just like that. And yet again, we need another new piece of material. We need trapdoors. Spruce trapdoors. Um, do I have any? That is a good question. I don't think I do. Oh, I got one. That's not good. Cause I need more. But one will do now. There we go. Oh, I need more than three actually. Didn't need them throughout the entire build actually. There we go, now we've got seven. Build up. So we want a trapdoor there, bring it down. Trapdoor there, bring it down. Trapdoor there and there, bring them down. That was a misclip. And then one there, one there, one there. We're also going to need another one there, but we will run out. Ah, of course.
After it's been flattened, we're also going to be turning everything that's not dirt into dirt on the right level. But later down the line, it will be a different block. Not entirely sure which yet. But it'd be for some kind of um, path and concrete, to be honest. Because I'm not just going to be building that house that I've already done and the tower and then Hately Castle, uh, Luthor Mansion, whatever. I'll also be building a lot of other stuff in this area as well. So it'd be like a small town. My own version of Smallville. <laughs> right. We've got over a stack. Let's put this into smelt. Let's also bring out my furnace from well another furnace from in here to start that off. I will start using the kitchen in there, but at least for now, we've we're just gonna be using it out here. Oh. Uh, cold. Nope. Cold. Yes. There we go. Right. Dirt. Dirt. Yes. into stone I'm gonna make a start that will continue um, flattening this land yeah. two jobs done with within half the time basically kill two birds with one stone
go. And that's now exactly what it's supposed to look like. And now what we want to do is what we did below. And that's place a stair on every other one. However, we have just run out of stairs again. So let's create more stairs. And then go all the way back up. There we go. And now what we want to do is get more logs. Spruce logs. Preferably, but it could be oak. Maybe we should have acted on oak because spruce is going to be the roof. Oh well. I can always change it to oak being the roof, but it wouldn't really match with that. But it's fine. We can have spruce as the uh, roof as well. It's fine. Doesn't really make a difference to be honest. Oh. Wow, we got a stack of beef to melt or well, cook. Nice. Our last spruce tree. Every corner we want to build up with logs up by six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. One, two. Whoops. I see another log. Stuck. Right there. Back and wait. Uh, let's continue destroying some dirt. We have the never portal built, we built it a couple um, a couple of videos ago, but we haven't really explored it that much. All we did was find out where we spawned, made a safe way down from a crimson tree, because that's where the, uh, ne the portal spawned, which sucks, but it's fine, could have been worse. Could have been a lot worse. So in a future video we will all be going into the nether and explore it. Find the nether fortress. Find a good place to go mining for um, ancient debris. But that won't be for a couple more videos.
To be honest, I don't think we're going to need the polish tool like uh, me and Jack Attacks got yesterday. So all that polish tool like, will probably be used to build something else now, to be honest. Question is, what? I will be using it to build something massive in the future anyway and that something massive will help us in the long run because it will help spawn something that we need desperately Something is slime. It will help us um, build a slime spawner. And with a mention of slime spawner. It's also reminded me that we are going to need a lot of kelp. And that is for a way to get down to the slime spawner. And we're also going to need magma blocks. Oh man. And that's for a way to get up from the slime spawner. It's actually rather amazing how it works, to be honest. I would never have found this out if it wasn't for Micro. He did it on the last ride and I copied. He did it to get up to a tree house. Well, many tree houses actually because he decided to build Endor from Star Wars in the uh, jungle that we spawned right next to on the last world. It was amazing. The way to get up was, well, you'll see soon, because that is going to be one of the next builds we are doing with Slime Spawner, at least the way up and down to and from it, but mining around it, that won't be for a couple more videos. At least. Right, unfortunately we don't have any more spruce wood trees that's grown or on us. We've got one log which is not enough, we need more. So let's go get some. No, no, no. So toss fire in there, run over there, toss fire in there. Toss fat in there. Toss fat there, that, that, that. And surprisingly, the rest we actually need for the tower, so. Mm. 
let's just quickly turn all that into that. Right, spruce, spruce, sea, spruce, sea, spruce. Okay, we got one spruce tree here, so we don't have to, have to go far. <laughs> we got what we need right here. Plant one there, plant another one there. But for now, at least, until we no longer need spruce. So. We'll just have to keep on planting spruce trees until we get our tree forest or tree farm bit. Whoop. There we go, look at that. Right, that's two, three, four, five, and six. God damn it. We need two more. Okay. I'm gonna destroy this just so it's easier. You'll see how it's going to be easier once we actually get to that point. That's oak, that's acacia. The nearest spruce isn't until we go over there. So whilst we're actually waiting, we might as well get some more dirt. That's the best thing we can do. Get the this area where we're flatting right now will actually be our warehouse district. No, this entire place here will just be full of warehouses. And each district will actually have its own um pavement um material so for instance the warehouse district will have white and black concrete in the pattern of a chessboard but that worked pretty well on the last world so i'm going to do the exact same thing in this world farming district however will probably just be dirt however there's going to be um, like path to dirt as well connecting to each of the different buildings and around each crop area as well uh, you'll understand a little bit more once it's actually built but until then that's all I'm saying on that um, on that subject that's it that's the word um for smallville itself as in all the different main buildings like uh the Luthor mansion the kent farm uh the watchtower daily planet uh smallville high uh Central Kansas University, Metropolis University, and a couple other buildings like Smallville Med Gen and Metropolis Gen, General Hospital, guys, um, will be either polished andesite um, or actual stone. I'm not entirely sure. Maybe even the mix of both. Maybe. Time will tell. Because like I said, that it, it's going to be a big project. So, my opinion on the path might may differ. But, yeah, that's kind of where I'm leaning to at the moment. I still haven't filled that in yet. I need to fill that in. Oh. So let's quickly fill as much of it in as we can now and continue at a later point. Because obviously, this video is mainly for our tower, our enchanting tower. The build of it itself. Next video, we'll do more landscaping and do the interior of the enchanting tower 
as well as getting the enchanting table placed in and leveling it up to level 30 that is all going to be in the next video so look forward to that but if you like this build feel free to actually copy it I don't mind because I've used this build on so many different worlds and more than once on each world as well because you can literally have it as a watchtower not watchtower from smallville obviously because watchtower in smallville is about four times as uh, four times the size of this plus it's all the nicer in smallville but watchtower as in a lookout tower that's what i meant but um yeah so this build of a enchanting tower can literally be used as a watch out a watchtower lookout tower whatever you want to call it or as an enchanting table as you see and then there's also like a bell tower you could also use this for but i think on this world what i'm gonna do is every type of tower there is like a lookout tower enchanting tower and a bell tower i'll use different designs for the towers so they're not um they don't look similar but if i do use the same design then i'll use different materials for each one the only material that might stay the same is going to be the wood so spruce but the stone and the deep slate that type of material will be switched out for a different type And that's just so it, it differs it but like i said i i might use different designs for the towers i haven't fully decided yet but like i said this video and next video has always been planned out this video is literally finishing off the tower next video is landscape um everything else really landscape interior enchanting table that's basically what next video is going to be video after that however um i have not decided yet we will find out in the next video because next video will be when i'm actually thinking ahead but at least for now we're going to get that done as well as some more landscaping because we may as well do as much landscaping as we can whilst we wait for these spruce trees to grow and in doing that we can also melt more cobblestone just like that because more stone we get the better um what else is fair hmm There isn't really much else that we need to discuss at this point in time. But yeah, like I've said in a couple of my Minecraft videos now, if you haven't seen Smallville, then please go and watch it because a lot of the builds that I'm going to be building is based off that TV show. And like I said, that TV show aired for 10 years is the best show CW ever did in my opinion better than arrow better than flash better than stargale which is surprising because stargale is actually pretty cool i do like stargale it's definitely better than batwoman uh superman and lois again that's an amazing tv show please go watch it my s it's tied second best cw show for me along with Stargirl. DC Legends of Tomorrow, yet again, it started off amazing, but so did all of these CW shows actually, they all started off amazing and then they died down, like The Flash, Arrow, the only ones that haven't died down since their first season 
has literally been Stargirl and Superman Lois. They have both been amazing throughout both of their current seasons. So, like I said, please go check them out. But if you want the best CW show to watch that didn't die down whatsoever from season 1 all the way up to when it, it finished in 2011 after their 10th season, that is Smallville. My all-time favourite Superman TV show and all-time favourite CW show. So please go check that out. Unfortunately, one of the actresses in it has kind of thrown shame onto the show right now. And that's Alison Mack after she was arrested by being a part of a sex cult. You guys have probably heard about that cult. If not, then just search up Alison Mack on any um, browser and you it will literally be one of the top links. Alison Mack arrested for being part of sex cult. If you click on any of those news articles, it will tell you all about the cult and the investigation. So yeah, and she was a member of the cast of Smallville all the way from season 1 to season 10. So yeah, that, that sucks, but for me it hasn't changed my view of the show. I still love the show, I love Alison Mack's role in the show. And I used to like her as a person and an actress, but not anymore. Not after her involvement in the cult. But she played the role of Chloe Sullivan in Smallville amazingly. She was amazing. The entire cast of Smallville was hand-picked by an amazing director to be the perfect people to, to play as those certain characters. There's Lionel Luthor, there's Lex Luthor, there's Pete Ross, Chloe Sullivan, Lois Lane, Clark Kent, Martha and Jonathan Kent. Uh, Oliver Queen, Arthur Coy, Victor Stone, Bart Allen as Impulse. There's, there's loads of well known DC Comics characters in the show, even Supergirl and Martian Manhunter. So, if you love anything DC and anything Superman comics related, then this show is for you. But, I'm going to stop talking about Smallville now, because I've been talking about it for a little while now in this one video. So, I'm going <laughs> to stop talking about it and let you guys deci decide for yourself whether or not you're going to watch it. If not, all I'm going to say on that is you're missing out big time. Because, like I said, it's my favourite CW show and favourite Superman show of all time. So, yeah. That's the last I'm going to say on Smallville. At least for this one video. Who knows, I might talk about it some more in the next one. But at least for now, that is it. Now we just have to wait until our trees have grown. So, whilst we wait, I'm gonna fill this in and then I will get back to you. Hopefully, after this is filled in, once a tree has grown. So, back in a flash. 
and there we go we did as much as we could but we ran out of dirt and we had to kill a villager and two llamas because they were in the way right let's see no tree there any trees over there probably not nope okay let's let's quickly sleep so it's daytime so the trees will grow quicker and then we'll continue um, getting dirt Ow. there we go look at that it's daytime yay ouch right. any trees any trees nope no trees okie dokie like <laughs> Oh look a tree. How about that? Perfect timing. Any over that? Nope. Okie dokie. Ah, oh, we're missing one trunk. That's annoying. No. Right. I will get back to you in a flash. After we get rid of some of this dirt. And fill in some more of this whilst we wait for another tree to grow so I will see you in a flash and we're back as you can see we mined more dirt some more cobble and we even planted a few more spruce trees to speed up our process of getting some spruce now let's fill in some more of this hole and um, yeah in the next video I won't just talk about more Smallville, I'll also talk about some of the builds I will be doing from Smallville and even show some pictures of what they look like in Smallville and then hopefully you will see what I will try to build on Minecraft at some point and obviously from now on when I'm going to be doing a build for you guys I will also show you what they look like in my said TV show or film depending if it is from a film or TV show and then you will watch me build it I don't know if it will all be in one video or not but there will definitely be another build very soon this build I'm doing now isn't in any TV show I just like the design of it, so I decided to build it for you guys. And obviously for me, Jack and Micro, because it's actually a really good and simplistic build, especially for Enchanting Tower. It's quicker as well because you don't have to make room in your house for a library for at the Enchanting Table. Because if it's in a house with other rooms, like a bedroom and blah blah blah, it will take so much longer for you to be able to get the table up to level 30 what I did with this build in the last world I don't know if I'm going to do that again basically I did a staircase on the outside of the build to get to a upstairs and that's where all the enchanted books and the lapis lazuli was because obviously you need lapis lazuli to upgrade and then I had another staircase going to the top floor which had the anvil of the grindstone on so you could either take away the enchantment that you got from the table and you didn't like it or you could enchant your own books or you could use certain enchanted books to actually enchant your weapon directly instead of using the table 
to enchant your weapon, you could enchant a book from the table and then use that said enchantment on your weapon or tool or armor. So I'll use the same aspect basically, but I don't know if I'll do it the same way. I'm not entirely sure yet. I was kind of hoping for another spruce tree to have been built, uh, to have grown by now, but it doesn't look like it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go um, and get some from the world, unfortunately. Which means it will take a little longer for this tower to be complete. I wanted this tower to be finished about 10 minutes ago to be honest oh hang on a tree has grown finally now I'm just hoping that the uh, trees will grow quicker whilst we actually build more of the tower Oh, I guess that will go in there then. Right, we've got oak trees growing, that's good. There we go. That is that part of the tower done. Right now we are going to need the stairs for spruce. And it's a good thing we've actually got the 17. Oops. Uh, we're gonna need more, but at least for now this should be enough. So what we're gonna use these for is we're gonna place one upside down there, one there, one there, one there, one there, one there. One there, jump across, and one there. Just like so. And now is the worst part. The part I've actually been dreading. It's time for more trapdoors. There we go. That's exactly how we want it. Now we just need more spruce. Well, Trap tools anyway. Should have enough spruce to build some trapdoors, just not the all of which we need, because we need loads. And you'll see why in a moment or how we need loads. How did it not take us all the way up? Ah that's why we got a little stuck. That's close. Oh shit, wrong wing, wrong wrong. That's fine. Oh yeah, we also need them on the sides as well, underneath the stairs. And um, there we go. We are out of spruce and out of trapdoors as well. Gotta love it, don't, don't ya? You gotta love it. But as you can see, the tower is slowly coming along, I guess. It's slowly but surely. We are going to need it to be daytime as we are going to go get some more spruce wood from the wildness. Over to where the snow is on the map, that's where we need to go. 
But good news is we have filled in the ravine. This is the next one that needs to be filled in. Even though it's at the base of Jack's mountain that he's building, I'm still going to fill it in because I don't know if I'm going to be building anything there or if Jack's going to build something down the mountain at the same time as building on top. I don't know yet. But that does need to be filled in just because if it doesn't, someone like me, Jack, or Micro could be jumping along and well we will fall especially if we're jumping around here we'll just fall straight in and die look you can even see an abandoned mine shaft down there the exact same one we used to get out of the cave last night so with this area we need to be careful when we're jumping about look at that if I didn't make that jump, I could have fell down there and almost died. I would have lived with like half a heart, I believe. And look, 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 look. Look at that. That is nasty. Oh, look. Polar bears. And look. Even, th even there. I need to show Jack that. Next time he's on um, this weekend. Saturday. Saturday, maybe Sunday. Depending on what I'm doing on those days. I know I'm working those days. Ugh. Wish I wasn't though. Working today was bad enough. Considering it was uh, bank holiday. Bank holiday Monday, May Day. That was chaotic. Okay, that wasn't as bad as I thought it would be, but yeah. Still don't like it. Um, granted, today could have been a lot worse at work. We could have been busy all day and not just a slight hour or two hours. Half of my shift we were busy, the other half not so much. But, ugh. Yeah, you know the jungle over there. Good to know, because I will be exploring the map at... Well, I'll be exploring this entire map at a later point. Like, uh, I don't know, maybe after the first warehouse in the warehouse district is built. Which is actually going to be in a couple of videos. Because that's what me and Jack really need in our area of the map. We need a warehouse for all of our dirt, cobble deep slay and all that so basically the first warehouse that's going to be built is going to be mainly for the stuff we're going to use to build everything like all the woods like all the different type of woods from jungle to oak spruce acacia dark oak and so forth But we're also going to use it for the dirt, the cobble, deep slate, uh, stone bricks, normal stone, and I believe we'd be able to fit one more thing in there, which would probably be sand and gravel. Sand and gravel. That will be everything in the first warehouse, I believe. And then, once that's done, I'll fully explore this map. And then, yeah, then we'll start on the next build. So yeah, the warehouse will be the next thing that will be built. So, not next video, but the video afterwards, I believe, will be the warehouse. And the warehouse is so quick and easy to build that we will be able to do the exterior and the interior of it in one video. Hopefully if everything goes according, goes according to plan. 
Right, we are on snow, which means we need to be careful because we don't know if a latest update to the game fixed the full through snow glitch that was happening. If it was a glitch. So far, it's not happening. I'm not falling through the uh, snow, which is a good sign. Which means they could have fixed it. But, don't know yet. But anyway, um, like I was saying, next thing that will be built will definitely be warehouse number one. And then we'll explore fully this map. And then we'll probably build the dock where we can store our boats. Like have a, have a singular chest full of boats and three ports on the dock where you can dock your boats as well I and mean, then then you can also just sail out of the dock and into the open ocean we've got a nice location for that to be built so yeah, that will be after the warehouse is built I believe because that is yet again another easy build okay this is actually a nice little uh, oceany area not bad underwater cave entrance there I see and then obviously if you swim all the way down there you'll find magma blocks which will suck you down and you'll find diamonds, emeralds and whatnot down there. But to get like to mine all of it you actually need water breathing um, potions and everything else otherwise you will drown super quickly before you can even mine one block of diamond or whatnot. Because you get down there, you find diamond or whatnot, and then you'll drown because of it being so deep underwater. So make sure you have water breathing potions with you if you decide to go down into one of those. Or you could do what I usually do, which is build yourself a uh, breathing gap. So if you, well, as soon as you get down there, all you need to do is just break a couple blocks of stone and then swim in and then block block the entrance and then you'll literally start to breathe and then once you get all your bubbles back just go out where how you came and then explore a little make another little gap for you to just breathe and rinse and repeat basically that's what I do when I find one of those I know if I've been lucky to find treasure chests hidden around the map using treasure maps and then um, finding um, water breathing potions in those because I don't make potions because I don't know how to make like I don't know any recipes to make potions any good re uh, potions anyway I will eventually fi figure it all out and I'll um, I'll build a alchemy tower as well on this world and with that viewing stands will be all over the place however there's also going to be a book written by me micro and jack with all the recipes of all the known like we'll keep updating it but every time we find a recipe for a potion we'll literally write it down in that book and put it in a chest next to the ingredients for the potions and um, things like that because that's what we do we literally help each other out and uh, when it's something major like potions we literally get a book and quill and we write it down oh we found Jack's little hidey spot uh, uh, uh. Hmm. I don't have anything to mess with him that sucks Oh well. Well, look at that magnificent sight. Mm -hmm.
Oh wow, look at that. We've got a tree that's grown. One tree out of like seven has finally fucking grown. Jesus Christ. Right, let's place down these trapdoors. Very good, trapdoors are placed. And now it's actually time to start on the roof. So with the roof, you are going to want some stone brick stairs and you want upside down on every corner bit like so so level with the upside down spruce stairs on the interior of the roof like so and as you can see we are actually out of our stone brick stairs which is fine because we go over two stacks of stone bricks so let's just use some of that for stairs. Then you want to jump back down. Oops, that's a upward normal stair. You want upside down. There we go. Just, oh, uh oh. <laughs> Whoopsie daisy. <laughs> ah. Might be easier to do it this way. There we go. Right, that all the stairs done. That's that side, that side, that side, and that side. Yep, awesome. And now what we want to do is do inward stairs on top. So like this, like that. Like that. Like that. And like that. And then you want upside down stairs exactly where the stairs are. So just like that, that. Oh. Oopsie. That. That. I keep doing that. Or whatever's. Like that. And now we need another material that we don't have with us. And that is stone brick slabs, which we didn't actually make. Whoopsie. So let's just make some of those. Make some polished deep slate ones as well. Just because I have a feeling we're going to need them. If I remember correctly, at some point we do. Whether it's this build or another build, we might as well have it already. But you want to place the slabs on the upside down stairs that we just placed. Once that's done, you're ready for the next part. And now we want to place a log in the middle bit, just like that. You have to make sure the log is actually um, sticking outward, like the... Um, that bit is facing outward otherwise it just doesn't make the uh, make the bill look good but anyway it's up to you but at the moment your roof should look something like this and now you want to place a full block of stone brick behind where you place the log just like that so now it should look like your roof is getting smaller 
but don't fret, it's not. Well, it is, but not, not really. It is, uh, you'll see. And when I say you'll see, it means you're going to be placing it upside down stair, facing outward from that block of stone brick you just placed, so it's literally on top of the log, just like that. And then, like that. Well, that log did not like me, it just pushed me off my own build. Thank you very much, Mr. Log. Well, this is what your build should look like if you are following. If you are not, then I hope you are actually enjoying this build so far. If you do want to build it, feel free. It's for free. I'm not going to charge much. <laughs> but no, feel free to copy. If you don't want to copy, then that's completely fine. And now we are going to be placing another slab on top of a full block of stone right behind the upside down stair just like that. And then double slab behind, double slab behind, double slab behind and a double slab behind. Do not, I repeat, do not use stone brick block. Use two stone brick slabs to create that said block right there. Otherwise, it will. It does work, but it doesn't at the same time. It just doesn't. It doesn't fit well. Just use slabs instead of bricks. Trust me on that. And whilst we're doing double slabs, we might as well do another double slab in the center of these four double slabs. Just like that. That is your main roof done. Now to finish the roof off, we are going to be using our wood. And that wood we are going to be using is spruce wood. So get all your spruce re wood ready. So, you want to get rid of each corner piece and you move it with a stair. Each corner piece, move with a stair. Then what you're going to want to do is then go around with slabs just like this in every corner. Then you want to finish it off with a slab on top, just like that, you have done it. Right, now you have done your roof, however I think you guys will kind of want to add yourself some lighting for the exterior, so let's get that done. But first, let's get rid of all the scaffolding we no longer need. Just like that, there we go. Right now, you are going to want your polished deep slate wall. You're going to be using it, so don't think you made it for no reason, because you actually made it for a good reason. And you want to build up to your one of your uh, logs sticking out. Place down one 
wool one fence and then a lantern hanging off like that and then you want to do the same to the other log just like so and there you go you have lit up lit up the exterior of your tower and whilst you're at this you might as well you want to put your doors in if you want you can actually have your tower so it is literally a one door and not two doors but I like it with two doors so I'm gonna stick with two doors but feel free to have it with only one door if you would prefer but if you are gonna have it with just one door and not two doors get rid of the upside down stair above where the second door would be otherwise it be um well let's just say be a waste to be honest right um the only interior we will be doing is flooring so actually no we won't because the flooring will actually be oak so they're the reason we got oak um the reason it's going to be oak is so it will actually blend in with the bookshelves for the enchanting table because the table will be on the bottom floor so just fill in the flooring makes it one less thing you need to do before you upgrade the enchanting table there you go look at that perfect and now it's gonna be annoying but unless if you like having a path dirt around your build you can now get rid of it because this tower is an 8x8 build that's why we had borderline and it also helps us with our actual building template but there you go the build is done the exterior is all done the interior needs some work but that will be the next video however if you want to actually add some detail um, if you didn't see that in the video before last so the video that is uh, titled uh, landscaping I collected some leaves so you can literally have leaves around your build something like this for instance just to add little texture to it and then have it there have it there you could have it anywhere you want even going up like that around the doorways as well and then even one on the corners as well so it's all joining up like that I kind of like that so I'm going to keep it so there you go that is the exterior of the enchanting tower complete hopefully you guys have enjoyed this little video if you have, hit the like button.